Okay, I'm Ben Brooks, and I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ, and uh, this is 2021, and this is the first video that I'm making, and I'm the author of Teach the Children, and by the way, I'm 86 years old right now, and I'm doing what God told me to do, and that is teach the children how to get to heaven when they die, and uh, I'm going to do just that and uh, what I'm going to be soliciting in a very few few more days I'm going to be looking for preachers that want to preach exactly what Jesus said to teach the children and everybody else as a matter of fact how to get to heaven when they die and that is preach exactly what Jesus ordered them to do in the book of Matthew the 28th chapter verse 18 19 and 20 in the New Living Translation. That's where we're going to be coming from. Like I say, in a few more days, I'm going to be looking for preachers. I don't want no just one preacher. I want at least 12 in order to carry out what God wants people to understand. Now, because I'm the author of Teach the Children, and this is episode 61, that means that there's 60 episodes back behind me and if you haven't looked at them or seen them, it's time you catch up. Because ain't no sense in going no farther, now not a step farther, until you understand what's in the past. Because I have given you enough of scriptures and enough of teaching to where you can get to heaven when you die if you follow what Jesus said. Now I'm only giving people what Jesus said as near as I can. Now, the devil is still here and you can believe one thing. He don't want you hearing what I got to say. And he'll do anything to distract you. And you got to remember what, something else too. Uh, it ain't going to be no liars in heaven. And the only way you're going to get there, you're going to have to get there through Jesus Christ. And he's the little bitty baby that was born of a woman named Mary. And he is our Savior according to the angel from God. He was born our Savior. And after he had walked this earth and visited and went to school and done everything else, when he came about 30 years old, he started preaching that the kingdom of God is at hand. Now before that, his forerunner came, whose name was John. And he was the baptizer. Now understand something, his name wasn't John the Baptist. He was John the Baptizer. And he's the first one came preaching a baptism, baptized in water for the remission of sins. That's what it's, that's what it's here for. And the reason he was doing that is so you can pull off the old man, the sinful man, and put on the new, the holy man. That's the reason he was doing that because, see, God created us all in the first place for his benefit. The reason we're walking this earth so God can see how we would give him the praise, how we would obey his voice, how we would do what he said. Now, every living thing in this universe and all of the rest of the universe is just out there. Everything that has life, no matter what kind of life or where it came from, God gave everything its life. And he created everything to give him the praise and give him the glory. Can't nobody do nothing without God's presence and without God's help. And believe it or not, everybody committing sin and doing the wrong thing a lot of people know they're doing wrong and a lot of them don't. A lot of people are doing wrong and don't have no idea they're doing it. Now, that's just the way it is. But every bit of life on the face of this earth comes from God, whether it's good or whether it's bad. God lets it happen because he is God and he's the one that gives life to everything. Now, he don't go for what's, what's evil. He only goes for what's good. Even though we got bad stuff going on and he lets you live if you commit bad stuff 
That don't mean that he like it. That don't mean that he go for it. You see, in the beginning of time, God said man has become as one of us to know good and evil. You see, God knows good and evil. But where he is in heaven, and nobody knows the big, exactly how big heaven is or what it contained of. See, nobody knows exactly where Satan is. All we know is his spirit is here. But, but he's not in the same place God is. You can rest assured of that. And God gives him life himself. And he's going to destroy Satan some of these days. We don't know when or how. But we do know he's going to get rid of it. Now, my purpose, after I have been, I'm, I'm 86 right now, I was a full 80 years old before I had a 100% clear understanding as to what it takes to get back to heaven when you die. Now, I had to learn it myself the hard way. It took me a long time. I had to go through a whole lot of books, a whole lot of different kind of Bibles, and everything. And I found out through my study that the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ and what he taught. Now, there was peoples messing up before Christ came, and there has been people messing up after Christ came. You know, after he was here, walked around 30 years and then preached three and a half or four years, nobody knows exactly how long, because he was coming and gone, and, and the priests and, and the preachers and everybody, else, and most of the people, didn't even know who he was when he left here. They didn't know who he was when he came. They just flat didn't know who Jesus was. That's why they hired a people, they hired a man that knew Jesus when he seen him, and he could point out that this is really the man that you guys hunt for. He is the Son of God. He is the Christ. He is the Savior of this world. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm so carried away because this is 2021, and right now I'm 86, my wife is 88, and we got perfect health. We ain't got no problem. We ain't asking nobody for nothing. I, I hope that it don't come to where I have to ask anyone for anything. I'm hoping God fix it where it don't because I don't want anything from anybody. All I want to do is get to heaven when I die. Now, I got so much to say, I guess I better get started. Uh, this is again. This is teacher children. I'm Ben Brooks, a disciple of Jesus Christ. This is episode sixty-one. Now I'm gonna start it just like I always do. Sometimes I miss it, but most of the time I do it because I get carried away in what I got to say. And uh, and I'm gonna start it right. And and I want everybody to start it right when they start teaching the children, so the kids to get a clear understanding that God's word don't never change. It's the, ch it's the same every time you pick up the Bible. Every time you read it, it's the same identical word. It, it don't skip, it don't change. Nothing changes about it. So here's the way I'm going to start it in 2021. Episode 61. My disciple Ben Brooks. And this is what it says. Uh, in Proverbs 22... And six, talking about the King James book on this now. Uh, Proverbs 22 and six. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. What's saying is, it's the saying now, if you get it in him while he's a little bitty boy, and he grow up to go to grade school and high school and, 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 and graduate, and then go to college and graduate and, and uh, get master degrees and all of them different kind of degrees and he can go ahead and do something for America. You see, he can do something for God and he can do something for America too. But you got to train him up in the way he should go. And the way he should go, God will put it within him as he grow older. So the main thing you got to do in helping him with whatever type of work he's going to do on this earth is train him up in the right way. Now, the right way is teaching him what God said. Now, we're going right now uh, to the King James Version again, Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, and the seventh verse. I'm only going to read one verse. 
because time don't permit me to do everything I want to do because if I did, I'd be sitting here 24 hours a day because I got a whole lot to say to people on teaching your children how to get to heaven when they die. You see, that's the only what I'm teaching you. You can live a real good, healthy, happy life. You won't have to be begging and asking people for nothing or wishing for nothing or doing the wrong thing or causing people to suffer because of what you said or, or anything like that. There's no reason for one person to put another person down. We're supposed to be helpers of one another. I have taught a lot of people how to work and how to carry themselves and how to speak uh, since I've been on the face of this earth. I've done a lot of people a whole lot of good. I ain't never in my life caused nobody no hurt under no circumstances. No, that's way for me. Ain't no way I'm going to hurt another human being. I don't even hurt animals, as a matter of fact. Uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 7. This is what God said for the man or the head of the house, or the preacher, or the head of the priest, or whoever you is that's in the teaching position, talking to your fathers. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in the house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. God said you're supposed to teach your children what he said. Sure, we got this life to live and we got to work on some kind of job. We got something we got to do. But no matter what you do, you're supposed to give God the praise. Now, that's the whole situation. You ain't got no reason going around causing nobody no hurt. You don't have to do that. There's no blessing in there. The only blessing you get is from doing what God said. And he issued a whole bunch of laws and commandments. It's necessary for you to keep them all. And it's very easy to keep every last one of them because if you're treating everybody with love, you done covered everything. Every last one of them. Deuteronomy 6 and 7 one more time. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Thou shalt talk of them when thou settest in the house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. That don't give you no chance for going around gossiping about it. Gossiping to somebody where your kids can hear or gossiping to your kids about somebody or something. No, don't do that. I got another scripture for you. I'm adding this to the everlasting chain. You see, these scriptures I'm giving you are chain links. Every scripture I'm giving you is a chain link. It will go with some of the other scriptures that I'm giving you. Uh, and this is what I want you to remember also. Be sure to teach your kids. When you done raised them and they done graduated from college, <coughs> excuse me, and going out into the world to make it on their own and do what God wants them to do on the face of this earth. Whatever you can accomplish, I don't care if you can make an aircraft or an automobile or any kind of vehicle. Uh, if you're a school teacher or a scientist or engineer, it don't matter what you are. Whatever you accomplish something, I want you to remember something. Whenever you accomplish anything anywhere on the face of this earth, always give God the praise for it. I do it, and if I can do it, you can do it because I ain't no more or no less than anyone. If I can give God the praise for what I accomplish and what I get, you can do the same thing. I'm not telling you to follow me. I'm telling you to follow Jesus Christ. Now, everybody on this in, on the face of this earth is a little bit different. That don't make no difference. You can still give God the praise for everything that's good. Now, when you come down to you doing something bad and using profanity and hurting people and causing people to suffer, well, that's not good. You ain't giving God the praise for nothing that's bad. You only give God the praise for what's good. 
And whenever you make an accomplishment of doing anything that's good, all goodness comes from God. Now, I'm going to give you this scripture because I want you to remember uh, what it takes to get to heaven when you die. We're talking about teaching children right now. I've been broke, and I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ, and I'm a teacher. And right now we're fixing to read from the King James book again, Psalms 149 and 6. The scripture is Psalm 149 and 6. Every now and then, y'all know what? I'll say Proverbs 149 and 6, and Proverbs ain't got 149 verses. Y'all know it. Well, as I do. If the devil calls me to say it, just blot it out and go on. Because when, when I catch myself saying it, I'm going to repent. And if you catch it, then you go you go and read Proverbs 149 and 6. You read what the book say. That's why I want you to follow me with your Bible on every scripture that I give you. Make sure you understand what God says. Be sure of that. I'm telling you. In advance, be sure of that. While Christ was walking this earth and teaching people, he left a note with them one day in Matthew 15 and 10. He told everybody to hear and understand. Now, some translations say hear and try to understand. But Christ made it positive. Here, that is, if you got to read some books and study or rehearse something, you make sure you understand what Christ said. That's all there is to it. And I'm getting hot. So that's okay, too. I love it. Now I'm going to go back to my Bible scriptures again. And this time is Psalms 149 and 6. And I'm making it a permanent scripture because it's just as important or more so than the rest of them. And this is what it says. Let the high praise of God be in your mouth and a two-edged sword in your hand. Talking about the word of God and this Bible. If you got the high praise of God in you, everything you accomplish, you're going to give God the credit for it. That's what I do. I ain't telling you to follow me. I'm telling you to follow Jesus. I have learned these 86 years of walking this earth that it pays to give God the praise. That's what he wants out of you anyway. And I'm going to tell you something else while I'm on this scripture. God ain't going to give his praise to nobody, to no angel, or to no person, or to nothing on the face of this earth. He ain't giving his praise to nothing. He ain't going to give it to the ocean. He ain't going to give it to the wind. He ain't going to give it to the sun, the stars, or nothing. His praise is his spirit, is a, is a spirit. You got to do it in the spirit. And what he want out of you, he don't want you standing up on Sunday morning lying about you saved this and saved that, and you ain't lived nothing all the week. You're only saved when you get to church. No. Let the high praise of God be in your mouth. Coming out of it, you speak it. And that two-edged sword, that Bible, in your hand. Now, you teach your kids that, and when they die, hopefully at 120 years old or older, then they'll be on their way to heaven because they'll be believing in Jesus the whole time. Okay, here we go. What about less than the day where we're coming from? Now, I got a whole lot of scriptures. I probably ain't going to get to all of them today because uh, I got too much to say, and I don't want to go too far over the time because these things, it don't look like it, but it takes a whole lot of work to get these videos made. And, and, it, and it costs a lot, too. It ain't costing me one penny because the phone is already paid for, and... And I don't need no pay for my time. God done paid me, ooh we a whole lot of time. So I ain't got to worry about that. Now here we go with the days, with the days uh, episode. And the title of this, the title of this episode is, Teach the Children What Jesus Said. The title for today, 
or the subject for today is teach the children what Jesus said. Do y'all get that? If you're going by what somebody else said, you you just may be getting your own self in trouble. And if you're teaching your kid to go by what somebody else said, then you ain't teaching them the right thing. Uh, so right now, King James Version, we're going to Luke 22, and we're going to read two verses, 31 and 32. And I've read them before, and I am going to read them again. Because this is the main reason I'm doing this. And you're going to learn from these scriptures that if you ain't got it, you can't give it. This is what it says in verse 31 and 32 from the 22nd chapter of Luke. And the Lord God, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you, that he may shift you his wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith faileth not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. You see, you can't strengthen nobody if you ain't got no strength yourself. You can't teach nobody nothing if you don't know nothing your own, sir. That's why it took me nearly 60 years of studying the Bible before I was, I could actually make these videos. I didn't make nothing until I had perfect knowledge of what God wants you to do in order to get back to him. Jesus told his apostles, when you are converted, then you go strengthen somebody else. Listen, there's a lot of people need strengthening. The reason they need strengthening is because there's a whole lot of weak people out there. And you can't give them something you ain't got your own self. Now we're going to John 21. We're going to John chapter 21, verse 22. Jesus said unto him, I want you to understand what's happening here now. John chapter 21, verse 22. What I'm fixing to do is give you what a disciple has to go through in training to be able to do what Christ teaches him to do. And if you follow in somebody besides Jesus, you're getting your own self in trouble. And if you're teaching it to your kids, you're so messing up. Back to the book of to the book of John 21, Jesus said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Now listen, Jesus was telling his apostle, Peter, no matter what somebody else done done to me, talking about himself, or what somebody done done to anybody, don't make no difference, what somebody else done done. All you got to do is follow me because he's the way, the truth, and the life, and you can't get to heaven without going through Jesus. So, sure, this, this, this person that Apostle Peter is asking Jesus about, he was the one that betrayed Jesus the night he was arrested on the, on the feast. It was, a, it was a feast of the Passover. They had just finished eating the feast of the Passover. When Judas went out and led a whole bunch of people to arrest Jesus. Jesus let him follow him until he got ready to just almost left here. But when Peter was asking him question, Apostle Peter that is, Jesus told him, if I will that he tarry till I... See, Jesus coming back some of these days. Now look, if I miss some of this stuff, y'all read enough of scripture to where you can teach it to your kid anyhow. Even if I miss it. Jesus said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? You follow me. 
You see, Apostle Peter got hands-on training. So did a whole lot of other people, thousands of them. They had hands-on training. No matter what's going on, you got to follow Jesus. Now, nowadays, there's a man growed up jealous of Jesus, hating Jesus, and, and the state of the devil was in him and giving him all kind of help. He wasn't the only one. There was a lot of people hated Jesus from the time he was born. Well, they still hate Jesus, to tell the truth about it. There's still people hating Jesus right this minute. They're still hating him. They're still doing everything they can against him right now. But Jesus said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? He said, We ain't got to be sidetracked about what nobody else is doing or what nobody else has got. All we got to do is follow Jesus. That's all I do. It doesn't make difference what nobody's doing. When I do get something from God or something, I give God the praise. I give him a pure praise from my heart. I mean it. Everything I say. Jesus gave us instructions. No matter what's going on, you follow me. Okay, now we're going to King James. Uh, the 8th chapter. Verse 31 and 32. I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. My name is Ben Brooks. The book of John 8, verse 31 and 32. Then said Jesus unto those Jews which believe on him. You got to watch this stuff now. He said unto the Jews which believe on him. There was a whole lot of Jews who didn't believe in Jesus back in them days. And there's still a whole lot of people that don't believe in Jesus in these days. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciple indeed. Now listen, this is telling everybody a whole lot. To be a disciple of Jesus Christ, you got to continue. You got to stay in His Word. If you get out and you start following that demonetic person that's got everybody following him, that was a blasphemer in the first place. You got more people following him right now than than than, than Jesus Christ. More people calling his name than calling Jesus' name. Everybody knows Jesus is the Savior. But they're going to go preaching what that demon addict said. I'm going to tell you what, this world's in a bad shape. And God don't like what he's looking at right this second. There's too many people giving the wrong person the praise. You give the person the praise who name you call. Ain't going to be no liars in heaven. It just ain't going to be none now. Verse 32. I'm going to read 31 again. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciple indeed. Verse 32, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now that, that's what I'm coming from. About all of these scriptures I'm giving you, and all of this stuff that I'm reading, I want you to know the truth. Because it's the truth of everything that's going to make you free to where you can eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. You see, people are supposed to teach their kids while they're young. Uh, I didn't teach my kids when they were young because I didn't know myself. It's, all of my kids was in their 50s. Listen. Every one of my kids was in now 50 before I learned 100% the truth for how to get to heaven when you die. Because every preacher, teacher, everybody that had anything to do with teaching me didn't now person, not one person, told me the whole truth, nothing but the truth. They, they, did, they didn't do that. None of them told me the whole truth. And right now, if you decide to come a minister, 
you got a problem. Because if you don't obey what they said, they will kick you out. I said they will kick you out right now. So you don't have to go there. Now we're going to Matthew. Uh, this, this is the most important part of it. We're going to Matthew, the 28th chapter, the New Living Translation this time now. Jesus came and told his disciples, now listen, he had already risen from the dead, and he had already been seen by some people, and he had already talked to some people. But he had one place, he had told all 12, 11 at that time, whatever it was, where to go, and he would be there and talk to them. Now, this is what happened. He kept the appointment, and Jesus came and told his disciples, talking about Matthew 28 and 18, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commandments I have given you, and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Now listen. Jesus gave a whole lot of commandments when he was here. He commissioned and gave a commandment to everybody that's going to teach or help people get to heaven when they die. Teach everybody you come in contact with. They got to keep all of Jesus' commandments. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in the near future bringing up those commandments. Teaching children the commandments that Jesus gave. So you will know what his commandments are and you will keep his commandments. Because if you don't keep the commandments of Jesus Christ, i give you one illustration. He said in John 14 and 6, it was a commandment now. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come unto the Father but by me. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, old and young. That scripture was written long years ago. And it's just as good today as it was then. Or more so. Okay. That's all for this episode 61. Teach the children what Jesus said. If you're going to teach children or anyone anything, make sure you teach them what Jesus said, and they will get to heaven when they die. Again, I'm Ben Brooks. I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ, and I'm a, I am a teacher, and I will remain that way as long as I'm walking on the face of this earth. That's all for this episode.